Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video, and today we have another episode of next weekend sneaker releases. Uh, not too many crazy releases this weekend, a bit of a change from the last three weeks, but there are still some pretty nice shoes coming out. Before we get into that, if you could follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the Real Ray Ray 20 Also, go down in the description and check out the links to my two other YouTube channels. One of them is video games, and the other is just vlogs. If you could check those out, that would be greatly appreciated as well. And just a little tip, if you're ordering anything off Carmeloop, Plunder, or BrickArbor.com, don't forget to use the rep code RealRay, and that will save you 20% off your order. But... We have some really nice releases, some that I'm not too crazy of this week. Starting off, we're going to look at this pretty nice colorway of the Kyrie one, in my opinion. I actually really like how this looks. It is being called the Venus Flytrap colorway. Originally, it was rumored that it was called the Australia colorway, but who really cares what it's called? It still looks the same. So we have this sort of dark teal blue over the majority of the upper, green and orange on the outsole, a silver swoosh, and an orange sock liner. These will be $110 on February 27th if you want to pick them up. I wouldn't expect them to sell it right away, so you don't need to wait up early to get these. Also on the 28th we have this really nice Air Hirachi trainer in this cool gray, I mean cool blue I believe was the color and dark navy colorway. It's a really nice looking shoe in my opinion. I love how that uh, the base of the strap is sort of translucent. You can see through it. For 120 bucks, you can't really go wrong with these and they'll be available at your Nike Sportswear accounts on the 28th. Also on the 28th we have this LeBron 12 colorway. This colorway could have been amazing. They could have knocked it out of the park if they had gotten rid of the yellow and replaced it with silver. I honestly do not know what the yellow is doing on this shoe. I really don't like the look of the yellow, and I just really wish they would have put silver on all the yellow spots. It would have been amazing. My favorite LeBron 12 colorway, and I definitely would have picked it up. But this yellow just doesn't do it for me. If you do like it, though, you can get it for $200 on February 28th at Nike Basketball Accounts. And wrapping things up, guys, we have these right here. The... Yeezy 750 Boosts, third week in a row they're going to be releasing. Uh, obviously All-Star Weekend was a limited release of them, only in New York, 9,000 pairs. Today actually there was a wider release. Let me know if you were able to get those down in the comment section below today. And next weekend there will be another world worldwide release also available on adidas.com just like it was this weekend. For the $350 retail point of this shoe, I really like how it looks. The quality looks absolutely amazing. The boost is obviously a nice touch, but for $350 it's not really worth it for me. If it was $180, $170, 75, 190, somewhere around there, I would buy it. I would try to buy it at least. But for 350, it's not worth it in my opinion. I could spend my money money better in other places, pardon me. So let me know if you want to try and pick them up, if you already did pick them up, or if you couldn't care less about them. That's it for this video, guys. Hit that like button if you haven't already. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then, peace.